I'm Tom Martin, I'm creative director of uh, Forward. We're a Norwich-based uh, video production agency. We produce content and commercials for a large number of brands and businesses across the country and across the world. Most of our work um, gets seen on the web, uh, but we also produce uh, stuff for broadcast and we've been lucky enough to film in some really interesting places. We've been to Qatar a couple of times and Malta and Portugal and across Europe and worked for a really diverse and interesting set of clients. I've wanted to be a filmmaker for a very long time, since I was very little, and um, when I was five I, I saw The Empire Strikes Back and I was really, really inspired by it. And that led me on to take a, a film and TV uh, degree at university, and, and by the time I graduated I'd done a lot of filmmaking and I, and I really was passionate about making films. So I ended up going freelance, and then very soon after that ended up setting up the production company. And that was six years ago, and I'm happy to say we've continued to grow and take on more exciting projects, and I'm really lucky that you know, at the end of the day, I, I get to wake up every morning and, and do a job that I really love, and, and that is make films. Over the last five to ten years, there's been a huge change in the kind of filmmaking technology that's available to filmmakers, both at the low end and the high end. One of the most important things has been the increasing availability of large sensor interchangeable lens cameras. You're able to really vary your depth of field and create that very filmic cinematic look that we all really lusted after and, and we really just couldn't produce with a small sensor kind of mini DV cameras. The flexibility that's afforded by using interchangeable lenses is really great as well because you can shoot with you know, vintage lenses that have been adapted or you can get beautiful new cinema glass and make a very, you know, very pretty, very filmic image. The other really big advantage that a large sensor gives you is the ability to shoot in increasingly lower lighting conditions. It just means that you can capture images that you simply wouldn't have been able to do before. The large sensor revolution was kind of started off by the Canon 5D Mark II, which was a small camera. It was a stills camera, it was a DSLR, and that kind of small form factor has continued to be the kind of norm. Whether you've got you know, an Arri Alexa Mini or a Red Epic at the top end, or something like a GH4 or another Canon DSLR at the bottom end, because the cameras are physically smaller, it means that there's been a huge market opened up to inexpensive and very, very well made sliders, jibs and other pieces of grip equipment that would traditionally be huge and require a full crew to set up. Probably the most important change in terms of camera movement in the last few years has been the advent of gimbals. So the combination of being able to produce stable, smooth footage on the ground and sweeping stable aerial footage from a drone has just meant that even small budget production can benefit from a huge increase in production value. I'm just about old enough that when I started my business, we were delivering mainly to physical media. So we would send a DVD off to a client at the end of the, the project, but really for the last four or five years, all of our content has gone to the web. And this has been huge because from a, from a cost effectiveness and benefit perspective from our clients, anyone in the world at any time can learn about their product or service. So it makes video a hugely desirable tool and therefore there's been an increasing demand for small production companies like mine to produce high quality content. The way I've grown my business has been to find good clients and people that you really enjoy working for and to work very, very hard for them and to produce really good work for them because then they will recommend you to their friends and colleagues and other businesses and you'll get more work like that. Everything you do, in my opinion, needs to be of a, of a high quality in order to make sure that you continue to attract clients in general but also once you get a little bit further down the line, attract the kind of clients that you actually want to work for, which is really important. Make sure you, you're understanding what your client's needs are. You need to be very specific in the early stages of pre-production about actually understanding what they want to achieve with the video and why they're having it created. It's no good producing this beautiful piece of work if it doesn't match the client's brief or treatment because you're not going to get to work with them again. Something we're really concerned with is, is making sure that we're telling an interesting story. So it's taking the time to figure out what is the client's story? What kind of story do they want telling? All of these things need to be decided upon before you can even think about planning shots or lighting or anything like that. And also thinking about the budget. It's really important to ensure that the budget of the project matches the creative aspirations that both you and the client have. It's no good either one of you having a visions of this huge production if you've only got very little money to spend. The next stage is to get really in-depth about the planning. You need to really develop that creative concept, spend some time going over it, thinking about revising the script a few times. You also need to think about the logistics of a successful shoot. Often the budget will dictate that you've maybe only got two or three days to film the entire production. And this is where sometimes it's really useful at a higher end to have a producer to deal with all this kind of stuff, to let you deal with the more creative side of things. 
The most successful projects that I've produced have been the ones that we've taken the time to do a proper pre-production process, really learn about what the client wants and have the time to plan stuff in depth so that in the heat of the moment when you're in on set, the lights are on, the cameras are rolling, you don't have to worry about what you're capturing, whether it's going to work. You've got that all sorted out before you even turn up on set. And that way you ensure that by the end of the production process you've created a really, really good video that you're proud of, the client's happy with and most importantly fits their brief.